had a great opportunity today to be on More Talk radio show. Um, is it a radio show? Great conversation with Dan Snyder and myself talking about our different roads to get to where we are today and, uh, you know, the entrepreneurial road that we've both uh, been on. Uh, a little bit about my previous career in the corporate world and now moving into the entrepreneurial space. And um, it was a lot of fun, a lot of good information back and forth. And, um, you know, just like More Talk, More Money Podcast is on YouTube. You can actually go there, subscribe and like and uh, watch more of what I have to say on a weekly basis. What a treat for me today. I was uh, uh, helping the Michigan Mortgage Lenders Association at their uh, quarterly luncheon uh, and got to share uh, a little bit about the Rethink Everything book with about 50 folks from the Michigan, we call ourselves the Michigan Mortgage Mafia. Um, and such an engaging conversation. I had loan officers of all ages share how this book is helping them literally rethink how they engage consumers, especially the next gen home buyer. And so after the after the luncheon, I was all fired up. I got in my car and I had a reminder to uh, to watch the show. And two of my favorite people, um, Roy and Dan, were guests and uh, just learned a ton from two great operators uh, who have models that are different. And it's it's just such a it's such a luxury to have a show like this where you get guests like Roy and Tom who are so willing to share you know, not just their successes, but the challenges they face as operators. Um, and I just, I'm appreciative of the fact that you guys do this every week. Thank you. And conferences in general, if you're not attending even your city or state and local type conferences, get out there, rub shoulders with your peers, see what's working, see what's not working. Uh, I think that's a great opportunity to just be in it. If you're not, you know, knowledge or aware of what's happening in the industry or new guidelines that are being brought out by the agencies or even with the MBA and their advocacy, continue to just follow that, continue to be on top of that. You have to be vulnerable. You have to be willing. You have to go out and know and understand the products that you've gotten, guidelines backwards and forwards, and be able to go out and get in front of that consumer. I think it's really important for us as leaders in the mortgage industry to talk uh, about what's going on right now and be transparent about what we're doing with our companies and what our outlook is. Uh, there's been some tough times the last few years, let's face it, in our industry. And there's been a lot of layoffs, a lot of negativity around the mortgage industry. And now it seems like uh, folks are kind of looking, you know, for some scapegoats <laughs> as to why the housing is so affordable and what's the issue and are lenders to blame. So I think it's important for us to talk and tell our story and show our value talk about you know why do we believe that we have a good value proposition what are we building why are we doing it why are we building the company are we doing it just to close loans no we're doing it to fulfill um, our borrowers dreams and wishes and hopes and goals and partner in our company with our employees and our team members uh, and to build something sustainable not just something that is good for a year or two years or three years but something that is here 7 10 15 20 uh, as i mentioned on the show 50 years you know, Alcova's not the end all be all. We know that. Um, but, you know, we feel like uh, we have a, a strong value proposition, but we also need to keep learning. And, um, you know, we do that uh, by listening and participating in shows like this. Uh, so thank you guys for having me. Um, always look forward to learning something new and to being uh, challenged and, and making sure that we can represent our company well and explain our why.